What is up YouTube? Colby here with the all new 2023 Jeep Cherokee Altitude 4x4. Really excited about this off-road capabilities it has and we're gonna check those out today. It's in the Sting Gray color for the exterior. And guys, if you're new here, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe on our YouTube channel so we can keep bringing you guys some more car content. That's enough with the introduction. Let's check out this exterior. All right guys, let's kick off this review. And one more time, the exterior color is called Sting gray sting gray one more time it's not stingray which i thought at first sting gray so definitely an interesting color i'm starting to see it more uh in the past couple years and especially past couple days with some new cars uh looks definitely good with those black accents which we'll mention throughout under this hood we got a 2.1 liter four cylinder that's going to give you around 180 horsepower tethered with a nine speed automatic transmission as well as your jeep active drive one and terrain management for your off-roading capabilities we've got some simple nice uh, body lines on the hood keep it look kind of athletic and lean forward looking down below we got some nice uh, jeep headlights keeping it sleek keeping it thin like the look of those and then move over obviously we got the jeep script logo in that nice black accent kind of glossy look to it i really like that with that color and the seven slot grill from jeep again with that nice design and the gloss black kind of trim down below here we got your parking sensors which you can see in the body color and you got your fog lights uh, down below and they kind of got a nice little uh, design extension from the grill with those gloss accents and the same kind of thing follows suit down here with that big old camera in the front with your black accents guys so that's basically the front of the hood we're gonna move along to the side now uh, the first thing you're gonna notice obviously some more black accents but we got these 18 inch alloy wheels dig the design of that just simple simple and clean and take a look at those suspension and tread marks down there as you can see uh, obviously important with its off-roading capabilities uh, obviously any car for Jeep down below we got just a blacked out Cherokee badge you guys guessed it, more black accents and your power heated mirrors, as you can see. Oh, one little thing I forgot. Just a classic little Jeep Easter egg down there. Hopefully you can pick it up with the light reflecting. Moving on, here's kind of a more of a look from the side. Uh, kind of, I dig the look of this. It's a little bit longer than more compact SUVs, uh, but you got some nice, I like that body line in the middle, just add some more depth to it on the side uh, more black accents take another look at the tire in the back and we're going to get a back view now i do like those jeep brake lights a little more unique kind of almost cartoony looking obviously led but i like the look of those uh, you got your jeep logo in the same kind of script glossy black as you do in the front your four by four down badge on the back more brake lights and your parking sensors, I believe you got four there, and your rear view camera just below the handle. That's pretty much the exterior. Uh, I'm gonna open up the trunk here, show you the trunk space, and a little bit more of the driving uh, and price details. Okay guys, let's check out the trunk. You can just hit this little sensor here on the right. Boom, give it a few warning beeps. You can also do it on your key fob as well, uh, if your hands are full. So let's take a look at this trunk space. Pretty good for a compact SUV. Obviously all these seats, as you can see, can go down, but it's easier to do that from the back uh, passenger side. Take a look here. We got a 12 volt on the left there, some lights back here. And if you wanna push it to close it, you press that button right down there. Uh, cool thing here, we got your spare tire down below. And if you want a little extra room, you can actually drop this just easy there with one hand and give you a few extra inches of space and you got your jeep little sound system back here with the jeep logo that's pretty much it for the trunk i'm going to drop the spec sheets right here and uh, go over it a little bit you guys, i can you guys can pause it and uh, read through going to focus the spec sheet for you guys to read as you can see the base price is around forty six thousand in the sting gray color i see that's how you kind of spell it a uh, pause it you can kind of read through everything there you got the active drive management as well as your off-road information uh serious radio radio park view backup camera 
all the options there. Also shows you the mileage, 9.8 per 100 kilometers. So yeah, feel free to pause it, read through, and uh, then I'll show you guys the rest of the interior. Officially in the front here, let's take a look at that nice Jeep seats in the cockpit there. You can see the logo there. A little more comfortable, a little more high quality in the front than the back, but still spacious. Let's start this thing up right here. Push the start. Here we go. Let's check out that Cherokee logo. Yeah, take a look at that. The different driving options here. Uh, customizable middle gauge. Uh, we'll play around with it here. You can see the different options of screen setup, your messages, you can see your audio from there, uh, stop start steering navigation, trip info, fuel economy, uh, driver assist, more vehicle information, and just your classic speedometer. So yeah, just the middle there of the gauge is customizable. Here we go, let's take a look at that wheel right here. I like the look of that. This is You don't have too much silver in chrome, so it's not too overdone. Pretty high quality steering wheel, like the feel of it. As you can see in the middle, uh, you don't got a huge screen, I believe it's seven to eight inches. Uh, as you can see, it's set up to my phone right now. Uh, I believe it does support Apple CarPlay, but you have to have a USB-C uh, cord to set that up, which we don't have today. Uh, that's my fault, it's on me guys, don't worry. Uh, we'll check out more of the controls, your mirror dimmer, backup camera, heated seat, vented seat, heated steering wheel. Take a look at that. You got your little help navigation there for uh, rear view parking. Exit that out. Some more apps. You're going to have tons of apps, uh, different things from your notifications, SOS. Uh, let's see the navigation. It's going to help for your um, off-roading as well. Uh, obviously sync to my phone, you can check the contacts and everything and settings, customize it to your liking. Got your dual zone climate, both sides obviously you can see, a little silver uh, accents there, your hazard, parking assist, lane assist, and down below you can control all your uh, climate controls down here, as well as a mute and screen off button and your volume and tune button. Down below right here you got your terrain mode so select your terrain this is where the kind of uh different off-roading comes in here we got auto snow sport sand mud uh we're gonna check auto and sport today it's a beautiful day so no uh no sand mud or snow uh right by the gear shifter we got a usb and an aux along with a 12 volt uh you got your gear shifter right there along with your emergency brake it's going to be right there in the middle, and some more storage over here uh, with another charging port. That's pretty much it for the interior. Let's take this baby on the road and uh, learn a little bit more about how it drives. What is up, guys? We are finally taking this thing on the road. It is a hot day, beautiful day in North Vancouver, British Columbia. I had to take the hoodie off. Was feeling a bit, feeling a bit hot. Uh, we got that beautiful sunroof. Maybe we'll crack, crack open. Uh, when we hit some more uh, stop and traffic, show you guys, I just don't want to affect the noise too much. But so far, just driving through, uh, you kind of notice we're just in auto right now, but we'll definitely put in sport in a bit. It's a pretty loud uh, engine for around 180 horsepower tethered. Um, I don't mind it too much. I kind of, I don't mind a nice little nice little engine sound from uh from your car every now and then we've done so many electric and hybrid cars uh they're so quiet you know so nice little switch up every now and then uh we'll take it through some side streets today uh give it a little pull for you guys on the uh sport mode for sure and we got the apple carplay figured out uh it was essentially you just have to get a little usb cord um, and plug it in for the first time. I know a lot of cars are like that for the first time. So it's set up, nice clean looking screen. Take a look at that. Uh, great response time on the touch, on the touch screen there. But yeah, so far we're going over some speed bumps too. Handles that really well. You guys know this thing's, uh, this thing can off-road, so speed bump's gonna be no problem for it. But absolutely loving these, uh, these front seats. 
I feel like nice and cool. Like I don't feel too sweaty, but I still feel locked in. They got some high quality leather. And it's the same thing with the steering wheel. Uh, good grip, love the stitching on the bottom. Good feel to it. But yeah, I'm definitely uh, excited and kind of like wondering what the, what it's gonna sound like in sport mode here. We're just gonna clear these school zones, obviously. But, cause it's already kind of a, a, a loud, a loud engine noise when we're just in auto. So we're gonna definitely check that out for you guys in a few moments. Um, let's open up that sunroof now. Let's check that out for a second. Let's open up halfway here. But man, that is nice. The first time in a very long time that we could uh, open up the sunroof. It's a beautiful day. We got kids out there playing, playing sports. That nice breeze. I just don't want it to affect the camera too much. So we'll close it back up with that auto buttons here. Okay, we'll go into sport mode here in a second at the stop sign. Give it a little pull for you guys. Listen to that engine. All right, so you can see at the stop sign too. So let this person go ahead. But it comes up on the screen, so it goes from snow, it's actually like snow and sand on the vehicle. It's pretty cool, so sport's just a normal uh, normal car from the angle. Give it a little bit of pull here. Wow, you can really hear the difference in that. That's pretty loud. You're only going around 50, 50 kilometers there and you can hear that. This thing's got a pretty mean engine if you ask me. I don't know, I kind of like that every now and then, change it up, you know, everyone everyone talks about, oh, you want the, the quiet, that quiet sound, right? But I don't know, I kind of I kind of like that sport mode, it, you know, really confirms to the driver and the people around, like, this guy's in sport mode, this guy's not messing around. So yeah, I don't mind that at all. What do you guys think? You, do you like the little bit of a louder engine in, uh, in your vehicles or do you like uh, quiet? Definitely as well. Yeah, going over speed bumps, no problem. Definitely as well though. Uh, comment down your favorite uh, your favorite feature down below, you know? Uh, is, it, is it the color, that sting gray? Or um, that panoramic sunroof? Do you like the display? Uh, the comfort, obviously, if you've, you've had the driven one before. Or do you just like that, that roar from that sport mode? Let me know what you guys think. Uh, if I missed anything, definitely let me know in the comments. Uh, ask me some questions. I'll do my best to respond to as many as possible. But yeah, guys, that's going to be pretty much it for today. Uh, if you made it throughout this video, uh, leave a like. Leave a comment, as I mentioned, on any of the things I uh, asked you guys in the past couple minutes. And if you're new here, please subscribe uh, so I can keep bringing you guys some more review videos. And as always, you know, we got to give a shout out to Foundation Auto in North Vancouver for giving me this beautiful car today. Uh, provide content for you guys. If you're in the market for new used cars just like this, make sure to give them a shout in North Vancouver. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. Thanks for sticking around, and uh, hopefully I can see you next week.